Welcome back everybody to another episode of Fish and Freshies. I know this might seem a lot like the other video because I got this crazy guy right here. Hey, say hi. Or I know the last title of my video was kind of a little misleading about how we were doing um, almost like a review on the Garmin Live Scope. I didn't really do a good job of actually like running through it. It was just kind of a video that I had and uh, I just wanted to post it anyways because it had my dog in it and he was he was pretty cute and I felt that that was uh, something I wanted to share to you guys. And I didn't really have a name for it and it wasn't really the grandest video of all videos. So I kind of just went with a name <laughs> where you got to see a little bit of what the Garmin scope was doing. So today I'm actually gonna do a review on the Garmin scope. Other than that, we're just gonna set up here. We're gonna be going for pan fish mostly. I picked a great location for using the garment. As you can tell, there's lots of down trees and stuff over here. Lots and lots of structure around, which is so much fun to look at with the live scope. And then I know there's lots of pan fish in here. It's just a really, it's a really good fish to go for when you're trying to explain live scope. Enough talking, let's get at her. We're gonna set up for a big pike too. That's, uh, that's something that's gonna go down. So we'll get that set up first and then we'll start poking holes and looking for pan fish. Let's do it. In the last video, if you guys remember or have watched it, I lost a pike due to a tree. What I want to kind of show you here is, wow, we are way out of whack here. Now I got the color limit and everything finally downloaded onto this. I don't know how I feel about it. I've got a couple fish right here. I don't know if you guys can see those right there. I don't really like the color limit because like when you do it, it kind of turns the screen black and like keeps it like even, it almost makes it more cluttery. It looks like in the blue setting. So, I mean, it's probably good for like when you're in the amber setting and stuff like that. Yes, it can be really good, but I prefer it not to be on, to be honest. Just, it's okay with a little bit of clutter. I don't mind it uh, on there, but I do like the, the nice blue background. I mean, the gain can be turned up just a bit. You know, the more you go, the harsher it gets, but you can mess around with your also color gain. You can turn that up, which allows you to kind of turn down your gain and still get a, a good read. So I like to do it that way. That's kind of how I have it set up. Now it's going to be different for every time you go out. Uh, there's different water and different clarities and water and stuff like that. So basically you ought to mess around with it when you have it. But here's why I like this Garmin product so much is that in forward view, you can kind of like see if we're pointing over here where I have my sonar set up right against that bank over there. We can see up along the bank here that we're going up and there's a little bit of structure. I was set up around there. I was set up close to this, just about right there where that other hole is. I set one up and I didn't realize there was so much down brush, uh, brush right there. And I should have looked at it with the sonar, but I poked a hole and directly below me, there was nothing there. So now I know we got some down bush over there 
it kind of gets open. There's a little bit more down bush just out this way over here. So I think I might set up in between here. I know there is down bush or brush, I should say. I keep saying bush, what am I talking about? Must want a beer. If you look around here, we got brush everywhere. And this is why this place is gonna be cool for this video. It also does hold some very, very large and impressive pike for the area. So that's what we're hoping for. So I'm gonna get that down, get that all set up, and we'll get going on, the, on uh, fishing some of these small fish and hopefully we'll hook into a big pike. Hey, Finley, get out of there. Stop eating the bait fish. Yeah, you know you're being a bad boy, huh? You're being a bad boy, huh? Get out of here. Oh, who's being a little punk? I'm trying to shoot a video here, bud. I'm trying to shoot a video. Yeah, you got caught. Okay, let's go search around for some more schooling fish. I'll show you that part at least. So basically, what I do is I grab my fancy dancy pole that I made. I'll, I'll make a review video on that too and how I made it. It's actually quite cheap. So basically, we're just gonna do a little pan of the area here. My dog's gonna be crazy. So what we have here is a bit of a tree where is that now? That's straight out. So basically coming off of this point where that tree fell over there, you can see the stump that's broken coming out this way. And then I got that right there. You get closer to it and up the hill so you can see how it kind of forms the tree. Pretty cool. There it is, that's that tree. We got some more branches a little further that way. So let's go all the way around here. I think that's my bait right there hanging out. It's off the top over there. So that's pretty cool. Let's go right around behind us here. There's that other tree. There's that big bush. That's a massive tree, down tree right behind us right here. So that's showing all of that. I don't really see any too many suspended fish or I'd like to show you that. So what we can do is we can actually head probably just a little further down. Let's go a little further down this way, see what's down that end. Okay, I'm going to do more of a quick hole hopping, jumping around. Not gonna bring the big camera or anything like that. Just the head cam on my head and my dog is being a nut. I got ADHD if you can't tell. I keep looking all over the place. And uh, yeah, we once we find a good pocket, we'll uh, we'll set up the whole camera and everything like that. But I'll bring you along on through the head cam. So let's get to it. Moving around paid off. We're in a little area here, not too far from where we were, but that's fish. That is 20, 40 feet straight out there. Let's go. Look at all those fish in there. This is insane. There we go. What do we got, crappie Finley? Excuse me. Yes it is, there's a bunch of crappie down there. There we go. There we go, beautiful little fish, huh? Woo. Okay, excuse me buddy. Found a mother load of crappie, it looks like. And this is the good spot. Takes a little bit of searching, but the searching gets cut down in half. Not even, sometimes like you search for five minutes and then you get on them. Like that's the wonderful thing about this live scope. It really just adds a lot of time. Look at that. Boom. Crappie again. Yes. Look at the crappie we're getting here, buddy. Okay, let's get back down. Excuse me. Finley, you're in the way. Okay. This is good, you gotta find these crappie sometimes. Here we go, I got some big boys coming in too. Come on. No, I felt him, I felt him. Jeez. Oh, he's coming back. I'm really hoping that this is being recorded. I'm so sorry if it isn't. 
Just means I'll have to buy another camera. Oh my goodness. It must be just like the smallest little nibble. It's so crazy. You're just biting the tail. It's funny how you can find such a big mother load of fish and they're so stubborn. Just like that guys, the school has disappeared. Well, that was fun. That was a good time. Put her back into this view here. Okay. So what does it look like we got here? Uh, there's a whole pack of them. 30 feet this way. Okay, so 30 feet behind. Chase, chase, chase. Chase, chase, chase. We're on top of them, yeah. There we go. Turn this thing into down view. There we go. I think we're right on top of them. There we go. Got them moving away now. Get back here, fellers. We just found you. We just found you. Don't be afraid. Here we go. Look at that. This guy seems good. Might be a beaut. It is a nice little guy. Beautiful little fish, huh, Finley? Yeah. Not bad. Just barely hooked. Put him down there. Try to get back down before this guy. He's Fish, they seem to be cruising off. It's on a chase for these guys. Got to be moving around. There's some big ones. Big swing and a miss. There he is. Ooh. Oh, that's a bass. Not what we're after. Thought that was a crappie. There he is, got him. Got the big guy. There he is, big crappie. Not too big, excuse me, Finn. But good enough. These are some decent sized crappies. They're not the biggest ones in here, but that will do. These guys are just cruising, prowling. There he is. they're not staying in one spot too much. But that's the wonderful thing about live scope is that it actually just allows you to follow and chase the fish. There we go. We saw that guy come in, didn't we, Finn? Ooh, ooh, probably the biggest one of the day. Beautiful little crappie. Hey, ooh, baby, beautiful crappie. It's a beautiful crappie. Wicked, okay. Back in the hole she goes, Finn. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't know what it is. You like being the star? Yeah. We got the fish, we made the video we wanted to make, and it feels good. Now we didn't get on a ton of fish, although there were a ton of fish. The fish were not cooperating today. They weren't being super aggressive, like sometimes they can be. This is the video that I wanted to produce, just kind of show you guys a little bit more about the Garmin Livescope through my eyes. I know there's tons of videos out there for it, but uh, you know, it really does change the game. Honestly, I've had the other fish finders before, the flashers and stuff like that, and they, they're good. And don't get me wrong, you don't need this. Can I talk, Finley? Can I talk? Thanks, bud. You don't absolutely need this. It is a pretty pricey, piece of equipment and it's gonna set you back around four grand and then setting it all up for the ice fishing equipment and everything like that it just it keeps getting more and more expensive if you're willing to pay the money and you do want the top of the line state-of-the-art best sonar out there this is the one and it's really gonna make a world of difference searching for those fish being able to see piles of fish you know hundreds of feet away if you want to I didn't put it into a hundred feet but we we're looking around 70 feet and you know, you can find them and you find them very quickly and you can move to that spot quickly and you can jump around a lot more with a lot more accuracy in where you wanna be and finding those fish. And it really does just make a huge difference. 
Thanks for stopping by guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you wanna see how I built the pole, I am planning on doing another pole build uh, for, the, for the live scope. And I'm planning on doing one for my boat that are also gonna be all super, super cheap. Um, because those, that piece of equipment for the guy, live scope can add up and the whole case and everything like that gets super expensive. But I know that you can build the pole for very, very cheap and just as good as any other pole out there that they're selling for hundreds of dollars. So if you do like that, just comment down below and just let me know that you guys wanna, wanna see that. And if I haven't said it already, give her a thumbs up. Um, and we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. There's gonna be plenty more where this comes. I'm trying to get back on the train here. Let's keep her going.